So let's talk about building PCs. This is gonna be a general build guide for the month of May. And there are a lot of really important things going on that you should be aware of, like AMD having B450 versus B550 boards, Nvidia announcing their new GPU soon, as well as Intel releasing their 10th gen processors. AMD has a few new processors. So there's a lot to talk about if you're thinking about building a PC this month. So let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology. If you like my content, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and leave a comment below. So let's talk about some of the major things happening in May. Of course, we've all been home considerably more recently, and we get that itch to build a computer because not only is it something we can do with our time, it's also something we could actually use a lot more if you're working from home or you have a little bit more time to play games and things of that nature. So let's talk about some of the major things happening in May that could affect your decision to build computer. Um, we're going to break it down into new GPUs coming out this year. We're going to talk about new processors coming out this month. And we're also going to talk about the AMD B450 X470 issue um, and how, how that may pertain to you if you want to upgrade in the future. Um, so that's definitely something to know about. It seems that a lot of things still are readily available, but some things not as much. For example, I took a drive to my local micro center. I needed some stuff and I noticed that their motherboard inventory was wiped out like there was barely anything left maybe one or two um, generally they have a whole wall full of motherboards in this case everything was pretty much bought up and I've heard this from other people trying to shop online as well. There seems to be a little bit of a shortage on motherboards. I think people were just at home a lot, maybe building systems the last few months. Maybe there was something with the supply chain earlier on, but that's just something I noticed. Everything else seemed to be pretty readily available. I mean, cases were there, RAM seemed to be okay, GPUs were, were still there as well. So it's just something to keep in mind. I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue going forward, but I definitely noticed that about motherboards specifically. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about in building a PC. Let's talk about the CPUs first and then we'll jump on over to the GPUs. Now CPUs, you're going to have your pick between AMD and Intel as usual. There are a couple things that you need to know for the month of May. The first one is going to be regarding AMD. Um, they just announced that their B450 motherboards and their X470 motherboards will not work with Ryzen 4000. A lot of people that bought those motherboards thought that they'd be able to upgrade their CPUs eventually down the line. But now, if you buy a B450 AMD motherboard, or even an X470, which was the higher end of last generation, you will not be able to use Ryzen 4000 anymore. You're pretty much going to be capped out at Ryzen 3000. Now, a lot of people were upset about this because the budget series of motherboards that would be the B550 hasn't even been released yet. So if you didn't get an X570, you're pretty much out of luck if you plan to upgrade later on. Of course, you could always upgrade by buying a whole new motherboard, but you know, people People definitely like holding on to motherboards and just upgrading the CPU as they are released. So keep in mind, if you're going to build a PC this month and there aren't any B550 motherboards, your only option if you want to upgrade in the future is to do an X570. And those, of course, they're better performing, but they're also more expensive. Sometimes they're not as necessary for some of the lower end AMD processors. Now, of course, if you buy a B450 now or even an X470, those tend to be a little bit better price wise but just keep in mind you're not going to be able to upgrade past the 3000 series Ryzen so basically when 4000 series Ryzen comes out you're going to be kind of out of luck so that's the thing that you have to know now it'll be enticing to get a B450 because they're cheaper that's why a lot of people got them but just keep in mind you're not going to be able to upgrade to Ryzen 4000 later on which I mean it depends on how often you upgrade you could still put a beefy 3000 series CPU in your B450 like a 3900X or something like that and generally be okay so it'll be up to you but just keep that in mind as you're building in the month of May. Continuing with CPUs we have new CPU releases on May 20th from both AMD as well as Intel. I believe the AMD CPUs the 3100 and the 3300X that were announced recently they should be released somewhere around May 20th. Intel's motherboards I know for sure are but I believe AMD should also be around there. Um, so basically these have actually so far gotten some pretty positive reactions because especially the 3300 seems to have performance comparable to Intel 7700K which was a 
four core, eight thread processor, clocked really nice and high, and was really, really amazing for gaming. So now, if you figure that that processor is still worth probably over $200 on the used market, um, these new, especially the 3300X from AMD, it's performing pretty close to what that processor is at sub $200. So it's gonna be priced a lot, a lot better. Um, that's actually a pretty enticing CPU if you're just planning to do gaming. Maybe you don't wanna step up to the 3600 or the 3800X or anything like that. These CPUs actually look really good. I mean, like we said, the performance is coming close to what the 7700K was, and that was really an extraordinary gaming CPU back in the day, which can still kind of hold its own. It's not a bad CPU at all. So to have a new CPU from AMD, to be able to get close to that for significantly cheaper, I mean, that's definitely pretty impressive. As much as I like the AMD Ryzen 3600 and 3600X, definitely if I was building a system that's just primarily gonna be strictly for gaming, and you know, if I had a little bit lower budget, the 3300X looks really, really enticing, and I think it's gonna make a lot of people happy with its performance without necessarily having to buy one of the more expensive CPUs. Now, continuing on CPUs, we do have a pretty major release from Intel this month. Um, you can do a pre-order now for most of the CPUs and the motherboards and it's going to be dropping on May 20th and that's going to be the Z490 platform of their mainstream processors. Now we're going to talk about next week the motherboards and things that are very interesting. Um, there are definitely a lot of very cool things there but what you have to know is that basically this is going to be a 10 core 20 thread processor at the very top and all of the processors are going to have hyper threading back so if you have a 4 core 8 thread processor now it's going to be better than just having a four core or a six core like intel had last generation and the prices definitely seem pretty reasonable even at the very high end of the 10 core processor it's going to come in somewhere around the five to six hundred dollar range they said msrp should start as low as 488 dollars but of course the retail price is always a little bit higher but that's still fairly fair for a 10 core 20 thread processor if you think that back in the day a 6950x which was a 10 core processor used to cost almost two thousand dollars so we've come pretty far within the last you know three or four years thanks to amd partly really pushing in the competition so regardless of what you think i mean the reviews have not come out yet of these new intel chips but if you're building a computer in the month of may there are definitely some very interesting things in there even from the budget all the way up to the high-end cpus that you should consider um, if you're building an all-out high-end gaming rig that 10900K definitely looks really appealing. 10 cores going all the way up to 5.3 gigahertz thermal boost velocity. I mean, that looks very, very impressive. And if I was building a system that was just strictly for gaming and I wanted to eke out every little bit of performance, overclock it more, I would definitely pick that up with something like the Apex from Asus. That's the overclocking motherboard. That seems to be priced pretty fairly as well. In fact, that's just what I'm gonna do, the Z490 Apex with the 10900K. I'm looking forward to doing a really nice water-cooled build with that. I think you can really overclock it nicely, at least preliminarily talking about the specs and seeing what can happen. Reviews aren't out yet, so I would definitely hold off and see how it actually performs. But in general, it looks like it's gonna be pretty interesting. And then going down the line with these new Intel processors, you're gonna have a range of you know four and six core and multi-threaded processors. The good news is that pricing generally seems to have come down a bit thanks to the pressure and competition from AMD. So you should be able to pick something up that's gonna perform considerably better versus last year. That's what you need to be aware of for the month of May if you're gonna be doing a build. Remember the B450 versus the B550 and X570 fiasco with AMD. Um, if you wanna to upgrade to 4,000 series CPUs later on um, and then remember AMD has those two new processors the 3100 and 3300X um, that are very very good gaming chips at least from what I've seen preliminarily we'll see when they come out how they actually perform then of course Intel has a major release of their Z490 platform with brand new motherboards and yes you will need a new motherboard to go with this chipset um, but it also has that 10 core 20 thread 5.3 gigahertz monster CPU looks very very interesting so just keep these in mind as you're buying your hardware for your build if you're doing it this month or in June as these are going to be the eminent things to really impact your decisions. And now let's talk about GPUs. Of course, we've done a GPU buying guide as well and this year because of all the issues that worldwide have been occurring 
definitely has been very slow to release any information about new GPUs and things of that nature. Nvidia just announced some of their more professional level hardware and they spoke a little bit about Ampere. Um, so definitely the taps are starting to open a little bit where we're getting more information, but there still hasn't been any announcement or anything like that. Basically my recommendation there was at the very high end, if you're looking to get like a 2080 Ti or something like that, I would wait a little bit if you can, just because I think that the 3080, 3080 Ti are going to perform tremendously well, especially when you look at ray tracing and all of these other technologies that NVIDIA are pushing. And of course, the mid-range like, uh, you know, the 2070 Super or even the AMD 5700 XT. If you can wait as well before getting something like that, I think we're going to have things trickle down from the high end for next generation. And the budget, of course, if you need something now, get it now. But if you can wait, that can also be helpful because a lot of these more expensive GPUs are going to come down in price and you'll be able to pick something up in a few months that is a little bit more expensive now but of course if you need something now you know gpus always seem to retain their value fairly well so you can always resell it on the second hand market or something like that and get whatever is new but i think it's still going to be a few months before we actually get these in our hands i would imagine at the very earliest maybe september or october before we get any type of nvidia or even amd's big navi being released so if you have to build a pc in may i mean there's not too much you can do these cards are definitely not going to be coming out in May. We're still probably a few months away. So I would just get something that can tide you over now. And then later on, maybe just, you know, resell it on the second hand market or something like that and go into the 3000 series. But all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video just to give a little insight into what's going on in May if you're doing a build. I know it's definitely a stressful time in the exterior and in the outside world, but if you can occupy your time doing a really nice water cooled or even a regular air cooled PC build it can definitely bring you a lot of joy and make you pass the time a little bit better and then of course later on you can use it to work or game as much as you need to so remember to subscribe smash that like button leave a comment below do you plan on building a pc anytime soon and i'll see you guys on the next video